Next, we're going to grow strawberries on four foot centers using conventional practices. So we need to figure out what the remaining portion of fertilizer needs to be applied based on the prior calculations. So this is an example where there is no cover crop. We didn't put any any compost. We're just doing the conventional way to keep it the to keep the math simple. So we start again over from the from the the, the recommendation. That's your field. That's your beds, and that's the alleys that you don't want to fertilize. So the the fertilizer need is 150, 0, 150. The recommendation is to put 30 of N, 0 of P, and 30 of K2O pre-plant, and then the difference, 150 minus 30 is 120. That's what we're going to inject. So now we're going to go over those two final examples. So the pre-plant uh, application, we need to put 30 or 30 of N, P205, K2O. Again, notice the ratio between the N and K. So we're going to buy, uh, and we're going to make sure we're going to use a 15 or 15 fertilizer, which is also a 101, so make it easier. So now you can uh, divide your 43,560 by 4, so you have 10, 8, 9 eating a bed foot per acre. We're going to use the modified broadcast method, so we're going to put fertilizer only where the bed is. And to do that, I don't know if you've seen, they have a, they have a, a sprayers that only have pipes just behind the tractor so that they don't spread everywhere. They can have those to do one bed at a time or those to the equipment that does three beds at a time. So how much fertilizer do we need to apply? Well, 100 pounds of 15 or 15 contains 15 pounds of N. We will need uh, twice as much to put 30. So we need 200 pounds of that fertilizer. So that, in this case, the numbers come up pretty simple. I made the, div the, the, the division of 200 by 10 and 90. That shows you that you're going to have to apply the equivalent of 0.02 pounds per foot. That's what it boils down to. Why is that important? Well, it's not important because you're only going to have to go and, and, and measure it. But during the calibration step, you're going to use the tarp. You know, we cut this part of the, out of this talk for time, uh, time purposes. But you're going to have to know how much you expect to put per foot. Take your 20 or 30 foot long tarp, run your fertilizer spreader on top of it, and then weigh what you collect. So if your spreader, your tarp is 30 foot long, then you're going to expect to collect 30 times that amount. So that's what you, you need to know this, this number in order to do the, the, the fertilizer spreader calibration correctly. So just for the sake of, uh, of fun, isn't that fun, just before lunch? So just for the sake of fun, what happens if you can only find a 13 for 13 and, and not your 15 or 15 that you wanted? So how much are we applying and how much do we need to put? Based on the label, 100 pounds of fertilizer contains 13 pounds of N. And so to put 30 pounds of N, we need 100 times 30 divided by 13, which would be 231 pounds of the fertilizer. That's good. We know how to do that. Now the question, uh, how many foots of, uh, of fertilizer is that per row? Well, so you divide 43,560 by 4. You have 10, 890. And uh, 231 pounds of 15 for 15 divided by 10, 890 is 0.02 pounds of that fertilizer per foot of O. It's the same kind of math. The question is, how much N and K did we apply at the same time? We, we, spent, we applied the same amount of, uh, of K, and we did apply a little bit of, of, of P that we didn't want due to the four. So when you plug, plug that into your, your table, you get your, your green 30, which is what you wanted, your green, uh, your green 30 on the right side for K2, which is what you wanted, and you ended up applying 13 pounds of, uh, of P205 that you didn't want. So that was just to, sh to show you that when you don't get exactly the fertilizer that you want, then it does contribute in a way that you didn't want into your, your overall computation. So now the last step, we're almost there. We wanted to put 150 pounds of N. We uh, total, we put 30 pounds pre plan Now we need to inject 120. Same thing for, for K. So now we need to inject 120 or 120 of, uh, of N, P205, K2O. The, the recommendation, the table for the recommendation gives you, and this example is, is strawberry, it gives you the, the daily rate. So in this case, uh, and I, I, let's take the largest number, in February and March, you want to apply 0.75 pounds of N per acre per day. So that's the recommendation, 0.75 pounds of it per acre per day of N. Now, some growers, they're going to inject every day. So they're going to inject that amount every day. Some growers, they inject once a week. And some, you know, some they, they do compute based on seven days in that week. 
Some of them, they compute on weeks that are five days only. So you need to, to just convert that into the, 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 the injection cycle. So we're going to do weekly injection. So And we're going to buy 808, liquid 808. And again, I cheated, but that's what I wanted. I wanted fertilizer that has as much N as K to and had no P in it. So the question is, how much liquid fertilizer do we need for a daily injection, for a weekly injection? And they're going to want to do a, a rough math of how much fertilizer they're going to need for the whole season so that they know how much to order for the whole, for the whole season. All right, so the, the tricky thing really is, is the how do you convert this apparently grade that is for solid, that is for liquid? So pretty much it boils down to how much does a gallon of water weigh? And so the assumption is 10 pounds. So one gallon of liquid weighs 10 pounds. And that makes things very simple because now your liquid 808, that means that you have 8 pounds of N in 100 pounds of fertilizer, which means that you have 8 pounds of N in 10 gallons, which means that your liquid fertilizer contains 0.8 pounds of N in one gallon. So that's really the only difficult step, to go from the label 808 to the 0.8 pounds of N per gallon. So after that, your daily rate is also 5.25 pounds per N per week because you multiply 7 by 0 0.75, that's 5.25. The number of gallons needed, you divide 5.25 by 0 0.8 and it gives you 6.5 gallon of liquid 808. So a weekly injection of 6.6, uh, should say 6.5 of 808 to one acre field provides exactly what we wanted, 5.25 pounds of N and 5.25 pounds of K205. Now, typically, strawberry, we shoot for 23 weeks a season. So we're going to need that 23 times for the whole season. And you remember, we, we use the highest daily rate. So that's a little excessive, but that puts us on the side that we'll have just a little bit more rather than just a little bit less at the end of the season. So 6.5 uh, gallons per week times 23 weeks means that you're going to need 150 gallons per acre per season. So if you have 10, gallon, uh, 10 acres, you need times more. If you have 100 acres, you need 100 times more. So again, the difficulty with liquid fertilizer is, is twice. Is one, start with the correct grade. So you don't have to make 25 math. Picking with the wrong fertilizer, and now you need to dissolve ammonium nitrate to balance. No, you don't want to do that. Start with the right liquid. And two, remember that one gallon once weighs 10 pounds. And now you're in business. All right, I, I just like to you, there is one more, no, one more calculation. One more calculation is when you use non-standard bed spacing. We gave you first the example of the, of the mini melons, and, and sometimes, or the most common times, is when people double crop. Because guess what? You don't come and move the beds for the second crop just to accommodate IFAS recommendation. This is a, a grower who grows strawberries, and now he wants to put tomatoes as a double crop. So the big rectangle, that's, your, that's the field. And these are actually the beds. So let's look at the top. Because this is, a, a, this is a, a field that was planted for strawberries, every four foot per, uh, the, the beds were on four foot centers, we have 10,890 linear bed foot in that acre. That's not negotiable. Now, now we're growing tomatoes. So how many acres of tomatoes does that represent? Well. Tomatoes, if you do 43,560 divided by 6, one acre is 70 to 60. So this first block of beds will represent 70 to 60 linear bed feet of plastic. But you still have all those left. These are 10,890 minus 70 to 60. That's 3630 that are still there because they are closer, right? Instead of being on six foot center, they are on four foot center. So actually, this is represent 0.5 acres. So actually, you have the, the linear bed feet of plastic for tomatoes for one and a half acre within one acre of strawberries. Does that make sense? Actually, if you do the ratio of 4 divided by 6, that gives you 1.5. Or 6 divided by 4 gives you 1.5. So at this point, if you remember what I told you earlier, you are not fertilizing fields, you are fertilizing rows. All you need to say now is, I have here physically one and a half acre of tomatoes. So technically this field, if you put 200 pounds of N for the whole field, technically this 
physical acre is going to receive 300 pounds, but on a per linear foot of bed, it's going to st st still receive the 200 pound rate. 